Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I am excited to show you how to make a beautiful a Lancashire hot pot. So as I show you how to make this delicious hearty meal, sit back, relax please with a cup of tea in hand, putting your feet up too and enjoy this episode. And don't forget to subscribe. In today's episode, we'll be visiting the stunning northern English county of Lancashire, the place where, as a result of industrialization, the hearty dish on screen was conceived. This, for those unaware, is a Lancashire hot pot, a braised lamb and vegetable stew hidden under a layer of crisp, thinly sliced potatoes. Simply, this is the definition of comfort food. And today, we'll be making this fantastic dish from scratch with the verdict at the end. But before we begin doing anything at all, please allow me to introduce the ingredients to you. For today's brilliantly British Lancashire hot pot, you will need some potatoes, corn flour, butter, ideally homemade brilliantly British butter. Follow the link up there to learn how to make it yourselves at home. You will need some garlic, some tomato paste or puree. You will need some swede, some diced lamb. You can use shoulder, lamb leg. You can use mutton as well. It's up to you as long as it's from a sheep. You will also need some carrots, some celery, diced onions and another onion on top of that. You will need some Worcestershire sauce, some rosemary and some thyme followed of course with the addition of salt and pepper to avoid the occurrence of bland food. That's it for the making of this brilliantly British Lancashire hot pot. But, 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 before you get started, before you do anything at all, I say switch on your kettle, brew yourself a nice cup of hot tea so that you can sip on that whilst you cook. To begin this Northern English staple, in a hot oiled saucepan, I'll begin to brown my diced mutton with a pinch or two of salt intending to develop a fond at the base of the pan. With a fond developed and the meat browned, turn in diced onions, grated carrots, chopped celery, tomato paste, some additional oil if necessary, Worcestershire sauce, a pinch of salt and a splash of water before allowing the contents to simmer and reduce under a lid over a medium high heat. With little liquid left in the pan, turn in minced garlic, another splash of water, diced swede, coarsely chopped carrots, coarsely chopped onions, your browned meat, your slurry mixture, outlined in the description of this episode, followed by the addition of freshly chopped rosemary, thyme and black pepper. Before moving on, I'll then taste the contents for salt adding a generous pinch thereafter whilst considering that the contents will reduce with time before transferring to a stewing pot. Before preparing the topping, I'll then begin to preheat my oven before finely slicing potatoes, which I'll coat in melted butter before arranging atop the stew, seasoning each layer as I progress. Beautiful. To bake, I'll set my pot on a foil and baking paper lined tray to catch any inevitable spills and I'll then cover with foil to initially steam the contents whilst in the oven and prick the top to allow for venting before placing it in the oven to bake low and very slow. After allowing the stew to bake initially covered, glaze with more melted butter before returning to the oven uncovered. The result? after a second stint of baking, I think speaks for itself. And so, with a rustic Lancashire hot pot made and a bowl at hand, I think it's time for... Tasting, tasting, tasting. Okay, I have a bowl in hand. Three, two, one. Mm. Wow. Now, for those of you that don't have lamb often, lamb is quite an intense flavored red meat and the way to counteract it is by beautifully balancing herbs and in this dish the rosemary the thyme oh they complement the lamb beautifully i mean you feel i almost feel that rosemary and thyme are meant for lamb really 
the vegetables still have a bite to them. Believe it or not, they still have a bite to them. The potatoes just melt away beautifully and there's a great ratio of sauce to vegetables to potato to meat. This whole dish as a whole is very warming, very comforting. It's great, it ticks all of the boxes. It's everything you need in one hot pot. So please, 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 when time allows, sit down with your family and friends and make this dish, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for allowing me to show you how to make a Lancashire hot pot. Knowing that you loved this episode, please don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that you don't miss any of our new releases. Tell everyone you know, and I mean everyone that you know, about the brilliantly British food like this on this channel, and follow us on all of the social media platforms that this channel is on, and I will see you next time.